Queensland scientists are trialling a breakthrough drug that could allow cystic fibrosis sufferers to live decades longer. The drug works within days and tricks the faulty gene into working effectively, making the acutely fatal disease into a manageable one. Researchers hope it will also mean victims no longer need lung transplants to survive. Cystic fibrosis sufferer Darren Bullock has never been able to breathe easily. <coughs> His dream is to live to see his twins, Alex and Abigail, grow up. You know, see my daughter get married, see my son, you know, have his first girlfriend, go on a date, be there for my wife into old age, you know, and enjoy those later years together. So it'd just be, it'd be everything, really. The 44-year-old is pinning his hopes on a breakthrough triple therapy modulated drug program that scientists say has the potential to revolutionise treatment of the disease. The preliminary results from those triple therapy drugs are really life-changing. And stop cystic fibrosis being a death sentence at an early age. It would give me a second chance at life. Prince Charles Hospital's Professor Scott Bell says the US developed therapy doesn't correct the mutated CF gene at DNA level but it tricks it into working better. These are combinations of drugs that actually force the abnormal gene to work more effectively. Patients report a massive increase in lung function and fewer lung infections. Director of the hospital Cystic Fibrosis Centre, Associate Professor David Reid, says the treatment is a game changer. One would hope if you maintain lung function you know, into your later adult life, that things like transplantation will no longer be needed. The team is part of a global initiative creating a blueprint for future treatment. When I retire, I think um, we'll be the last generation of physicians to see class classical cystic fibrosis. It's hoped the triple therapy drug will be available in Australia within the next two years, but it's expensive. It costs more than quarter of a million dollars for just one patient every year. Scientists are waiting for the drug to be approved by regulators in the US and here. Next step is lobbying government to subsidise the cost through the pharmaceutical benefits scheme. I'm just hanging out that, you know, one day I'll get the call and Dr Reed will say, Darren, guess what? You can come in and we've got it for you. One of the best days of my life. Giving sufferers hope like never before. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.